Okay, here today we have a Jewel Thief. There's the circuit. It's very bright. It's a super bright. Dual AAA powered. Super bright. Almost a uh, halogen in your hands. Uh, for three, for two, th three, uh, three A batteries. AAA batteries. So what we've got here is the schematic. Okay. Pretty cut and dry. Transistor, a diode, a resistor, toroid, battery box, batteries, some hookup wire, and uh, you could have this right here. How bright that is. That's, that's beautiful. Okay, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to give you a list of all the stuff that you can get to build one of these yourself. Look at that. And it lasts a long, long time. Look how bright that is. Okay. So, what we have here, first of all, the screen's going blurry. There we go. Okay. We have two AAA batteries, one battery box with wires, one super bright LED 3.5 volt, um, one regular LED white, or any other color. You know, you can. You can change it up, have blue lights, green lights, red lights, um, a plethora of lights, whatever your, whatever your fancy is. I like white. Uh, 35 volt transistors. Uh, you can buy them in a package for about two bucks. You can get a dozen of them. A tri filer wound toroid. You can either have, either have two or three, or depending on how, what kind of gauge you go, you can go four and five and six, six different wires on, on your toroid. Um, I would suggest starting with one or two, just so you can measure the outputs. With three, there's enough to charge a second battery. Yeah, with two, it just does this smashing this goodness. Woo! Okay, so now we have uh, 100 ohm resistors uh, for three wires, so you can have extra battery charging output, uh, or, or 1,000 ohm resistors. That'll give you just the standard bottom bright uh, LED I have. You see there, okay. Okay, and one terminal strip. It's optional. You know, you can have uh, different methods. You can have solder. You can solder your wires together. Put a butt splice on them. I like the telephone butt splices. I got telephone wire right there hooked up with it. With my output, my extra output there. Um, butt splices. Uh, Telephone crimp methods, pretty much any way you can fasten two tiny wires together. You can almost hot glue them if you wanted to. Actually, I do have that hot, that toroid hot glued to that terminal strip, so keep it handy without it getting damaged. Um, plus, it gets the battery box a nice little handle. And when I finish soldering the wires, it's going to be a nice little flashlight. I'm going to probably keep it for my son. Nope. Uh, that's your jewel thief.